What's good YouTube? It's your boy Shadow here yet again and I decided yet again to make another video webisode series. This will be Is It Important? It'll be the Is It Important series like is it is that really important or is this really important? Okay now this one Is It Important to Train Forearms? <sighs> Honestly guys I am probably the only person, no, I'm sorry, me and my buddy Ron, me and Ron, honestly, those are, me and him are the only two people that I know that actually train forearms, I, and that's, that's weird because I know at least two pros, not pros, like not big time pros, but like, you know, beginners, okay, they're not like, I. okay, I'm not going to explain it, I'm sorry. Anyways, I know about two guys that actually compete. There we go. But I, I, I wouldn't really try and call them pros because they don't have their pro cards yet. Anyways, sorry. I know about two guys that actually compete. And I have never once seen them train forms. And I had to ask one of them one day. I was like, man, I see you come in here every day. You do your shit. You pay your dues. You come in here and you work hard. You work your ass off. But I have to ask, do you even train your fucking forearms? And he said no. Now, honestly, guys, that kind of, my brain at that point was like, Psh! like, what? Why? Why don't you train forearms? That makes no sense. Okay, literally his reason told, the reason why he told me is because, one, he believes that it is an unnecessary body part to train. Honestly, guys, whenever he told me that, I said, okay, and I turned around and I actually left. That was the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I've never heard anyone say that it, it that ain't body parts unnecessary to train. I believe anyone that's wanting to actually be a, an act, to actually call themselves a bodybuilder, I believe that they should train every body part as hard as they can. You know, if you want to have the biggest chest out there, dude, train your fucking chest as hard as you can. If you want to have a huge ass back with big ass lats, dude, go train as hard as you fucking can. If you want to have those ripped, shredded abs, dude, go train your abs as hard as you can. But you're not going to train your forearms? What the fuck? Like, I mean, it just, it, it just doesn't, it's not clicking. There's no switch here. There's only a button. Only on, okay? I mean, it just, it, it honestly, guys, it makes no sense. My reason being is, one, the reason why I train forearms is because, one, obviously, you know, I want huge ass forearms. If you have small ass forearms and you have huge buys and tries, that's going to look really weird. It's going to look really, really weird because one, you're not only going to look unproportional, which will also affect you in the long run whenever it comes to you with your grip. And I'm talking about your grip on anything, on anything heavy. It'll affect your grip, and it'll also affect you in competition, too. Whenever judges are up there and they're, you know, they're actually judging your physique, they're looking for symmetry. They're looking for, you know, almost, almost perfect. I almost said perfect, sorry. They're looking for almost perfect symmetrical body. You know, if, you're, if your fucking legs, if your quads are bigger than your hamstrings, they're kind of, they're going to count you on that. If your calves, well, actually, you know, I've heard that they don't judge on calves, so I can't really say that. Okay, if your, if your chest is bigger than your back, and that's kind of hard to do, if your chest is bigger than your back, they're going to kind of, they're going to kind of knit and pick at it. I'm not going to say they're count, they're going to count points, but then again, I could be really wrong. I don't care. Some motherfucker's going to put it in the comments anyways. But 
really guys, I believe everyone should actually train their forearms. Re two reasons. One, you want to have big, big forearms, okay? You don't, you don't want to be one of those guys with, you know, decent arms. You don't want to be one of those guys with big fucking arms, big buys, and big tries, and you got little skinny tubes. You don't want to be one of those guys. Reason number two, you want to train forearms because, one, it helps with your grip. Okay, and I've noticed that especially on heavy ass weight. Like, okay, take for example, if I am doing a rowing movement, okay? If I'm doing, say, I'm doing bent over rows. If I'm doing bent over rows and I'm doing 225 on bent over, bent over rows, I'm not only going to have to have some chalk, but I'm going to have to have some good ass grip too. You know, that chalk doesn't work all the fucking time. And I don't care what anyone says, lifting straps do not work all the fucking time. Even Chris Jones has said that um, his lifting straps have actually slipped off. So, I mean, you know, that's pretty fucking dangerous, guys. You have to have good-ass grip. Hence, again, another reason why to train forearms. But that's my take on it. That's all I really want to say, guys. <sighs> Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know how the video closes. Keep the trolls out of the comment section. I know you guys are fucking watching that right now. I know you got I know the damn trolls are watching this shit right now. Okay? I know you guys see me. Stay out of the comment section or I will find you. No, I'm just playing. I won't even bother. But if you guys could keep them out. All right? That's all for now. Peace.